You don't have to overdo this, but do put a little bit of emphasis on kicking around, making sure he can stand through the flushing process. Ah, well, that was kind of cool, but not necessarily ideal. All right, we're here to get this boy back in the field. If you've been following along, you've seen all of the steps that we take from table work to moving to the ground to transitioning outside. And here we are outside. We're gonna do a little bird work. We're gonna do a little work with a fresh killed bird before we hit the field. And then what my expectation or guesses or anticipations, if you will, of this session are, he's gonna point his bird, do a nice job, hopefully. And then we're gonna shoot a bird for him. He's gonna run out and get it. And he's gonna come back and he's gonna spit it at me because that's what he did before we started. Dogs are place and situationally oriented and going back to the field, he's gonna try and revert back to what he did before we even started. Now, all of that being said, because we've laid the groundwork, we have all of the pieces, we should be able to handle him through that, do a couple reps, then go to the next bird and they should get progressively better as we go. If this is your first time to the channel or this is the first video you're finding of ours, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for this pretty boy, and then go to our channel, find a playlist, and find the beginning of this series for legend. All right, everybody, let's get started here. Take off your easy lead. Okay, so we wanna do some structure first. Good. Calm him down a little bit. Ah, stop spinning. Okay, fetch. Sending him with the collar. Good. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hold. Fetch. He's trying to do something right now. No, no, no. That he started getting in the habit of, and this is what you have to do as a dog trainer, is evaluate what your dog is doing. And while they're doing it, decide, is this something I want them to continue to do? I don't want him to go around me. It's a personal preference thing. When you get in testing situations, a lot of times there's a lot of bad stuff that can happen back here with that bird in a retrieve. So I want him to make everything happen in front of me so that I can see and know what's going on. So we're working through these things. Every session is not just, we're not just working on this, we're working on everything that he needs to be getting better at. Fetch. Right here it is, fetch. Good job, heel. That leg movement, kind of a block. Ah, don't go that way. Stay on this side, fetch, hold. Good, heel, nice job. So there, we've shown multiple times that he can fetch on cue. We're pushing the button on the collar. He's picking up a bird, easy, sorry bud. He's picking up the bird, he's holding on to it. There's a little bobble, but we're able to handle it. This is all a progressive process. Now we're gonna give him one fun one. Okay. Fun bumpers, fun birds. It's an important part of building better reps. Good. Get his attention over here. This is the side I want him to go to. Step around him using my footwork to kind of help him to get into position and build a better behavior. Good. All right, he's handleable. We're gonna hit the field. We've got Jessica with us. She's got my shotty. Whoo! All right, legend. Here, heel. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. good. Okay. Two on the right side. This is the fun part, folks. This is what we put all that hard work in. So get back out here. I'm gonna hand this off to you. So I expect to fill this bad boy up. Woo! Hoo! I wonder if you got a dub. Did you see all these sunflowers down here, Jess? I did. I've not seen any dub anymore. You have not? Hmm. I was thinking about doing a, a little sit in the sunflowers dove shoot, but. All right. Okay. Get moving. Get back out. Start hunting. Where are we looking? I'm just kind of walking. 
out here checking some cover, sniffing around. All right, what's our wind today? We got a wind that's coming straight out of the south, pretty much. You always got to remember, guys, to check your wind so you know how to work your dog into that bird you've got set out there. Now, for a reference point here, Legend's been really natural. He's been a really nice little bird dog. He is collar conditioned. He's done a really good job as a bird finder. We see him down here on point. So this could be it, because this isn't what we're... Alright, so let's go ahead and come in here and work this. He's pretty honest. He's got that head high, tail high. That's a really fun thing that kind of comes out of our Vex line of dogs, uh, passed to him through Muddy. Um, start moving around. There's our bird. Whoa, buddy. There it is. He can break at flush. That is where he's at in his steadiness. So everything he did there was perfect. That a boy? That a boy? One tap on the collar to remind him come up this direction. Here. When I said here, I hit the collar again. Nick button. Hold. Oh, that's helpful. Hold. Good. Okay, so he made a liar out of me. This is all really, really good though. It shows that he's got a lot of desire to do this. He's happy to do this. Wasn't the greatest time, uh, timed shot from the neighbor there, but we're still going to work through this like uh, I would with any dog, which is going to be dropping this bird right here. Hey, oh, you dropped it. Fetch. Nick, 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 till he picked it up. Good boy. Okay. Ah! Good. Well, distractions are going to happen in your training sessions, and we're going to try and work through them here. I'm going to water him real quick. It's not too bad this morning. A little bit of uh, overcast is helping. Legend. But we want to keep our dogs cool. A little bit in their mouth. Don't shoot that straight down the old windpipe. Go across. Just pull their cheeks up. Let them kind of lap that in there. Get those ears wet. Go. All right. Hunt him up, big dog, let's go. You're thinking more out here? All right. So we're gonna work him on the downwind side. We've gotta get north of where this bird is. He's kinda slowed up here a little bit. Getting birdie. Getting a nose full. Watch him. Let your young dogs work a little bit. See if he can come up with. He stopped looking around, but he's not set on anything. So we've got to start moving around. He's like, hey, you guys are standing there. What are you doing? Okay, it looks like he did move right up on that. Lack of wind, lack of whatever it is. We're going to try and get this one out of here before he moves. Whoa. Whoa. All right, here's the shot. Oh, missed it on the first. Good job, buddy. Just came short of that, but he's on the right side of the wind. He's just got to move out a little bit further to the west there. Oh, there, I think he's got it. All right, and we've got our finger on the button. We're ready to handle this retrieve if he makes a mistake. We're to the point now that we need to only be handling if he's making a mistake with his retrieving work. Good job, buddy. Nice work. Good. We're going to bring this back to a heel. So now I tap on the collar. Nick, Nick, Nick. Heel. Uh, uh, uh. Still trying that big loop around. Hold. Circle him up. Come on. Hold. Okay. Don't get in a rush. Ah, no more. Don't get in a rush to grab that. Snatch it right out of his mouth. You want to have him relaxed, poised, and then take it from him when you're ready. 
He's ready to go hunt, but we're gonna cool him down. Sometimes we have to be our own dog's advocate. They are uh, a lot harder on themselves than they need to be sometimes. Here. Good. Uh, 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 uh. Good. Okay, we're going down further. Okay. All right. Legend. The wind kind of died. We're supposed to have a big shift uh, tonight. It's gonna push us into some cooler temperatures for a few days. And then it's picked back up. It's just swirling a little bit. All right, work back up this way. Get him use that nose. Trying to pin down, is that something important? Yeah, looks like it might be important. I've got my hand on the controller. If he tries to move, we're gonna stop him. Otherwise, I don't wanna to talk to him too much. We refer to that as nagging, and at the stage that he's at, he should be able to stand on his own without having to handle him constantly or talk to him constantly. job, buddy. It's got a little more, no, it doesn't have any more life in it. Here. Got distracted by the scent cone here, which actually worked in my favor. It kind of pulled him back because he was still, he's trying that same thing to go back behind me. Good. Okay. Ah, a little bit of a verbal correction. He's excited to kind of chase that thing as I'm pulling it out of his mouth, and that's a bad habit. We don't want him jumping around, grabbing birds from you, or accidentally biting you in the process of being excited about that bird. Once you take it from him, ah, we're done with it. Let's move on. All right, we got one more right out over here. Okay, hunt him up, buddy. Now, folks, don't be surprised if your dog maybe struggles just a little bit more than what Legend's doing in this first session. Uh, he's a really good natural retriever. We just put the fine-tuned work into him to really polish him up. Uh, working that wind. Already looking like he's zeroing in on another one. Is it right in front of him again? No, no. no. Good. You can see he's getting warmer though. He's having a little bit of issues keeping that mouth closed. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. He's getting excited. Kicking around in the brush. He thought something was going. You don't have to overdo this, but do put a little bit of emphasis on Kicking around, making sure he can stand through the flushing process. Ah, well, that was kind of cool, but not necessarily ideal. Here, hold, good, okay. We're gonna go ahead and drop this one. Hey, hey, fetch. Good, as soon as I said fetch, it was Nick, 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 till he grabbed it again. We're gonna give him one more here. One more fun one. Oh, here we go. Got it. Nice shot, Ethan. I heard it, thank you, thank you. Hold, hold, come here, hold. Good, if you want your, no more, no more. You have to think about this from um, his perspective. 
If you're going, no, no, don't jump, don't jump at it, don't, no, don't jump at it, what's he gonna do? He's gonna jump at it. He wants to chase it. So what I did is I held it here. No, no more. It's gonna be just like a leave it game that you can play with your puppy or anything else. No, as soon as it wasn't exciting, it's not moving around, he was able to stop that, understand the verbal correction of no, leave it alone, and then we can put it away. But if you're constantly playing this tease game, you can see how much more excited he is about this thing moving around. Once it stops, no, leave it alone. So, all in all guys, that looked absolutely fantastic. Let's get you on leash, buddy. Absolutely fantastic. I think Legend is ready. He's ready to go hunting this fall. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We've got a lot lined up for him. He's gonna go with us probably to uh, hunt some sharp tails if we don't get snowed out, which it sounds like there's the potential of that. But then he's gonna go up and hunt South Dakota with me. He'll be hunting in Kansas, he'll be hunting in Texas. This is gonna be his uh, proving year. He's gonna probably see more birds than what the average dog gets to in the first four or five years of his life, which is really gonna give him the opportunity to turn into a bird dog. Thanks everybody for watching this series. This is taking him from not retrieving to hand to retrieving to hand and showing you all of the steps. Again, hit the like button, subscribe, go back, watch his entire series from start to finish. Watch him multiple times. It's gonna help you to do a better job when you're working through with your dog. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Legend, and we appreciate you watching this series with us. Thank you.